Think of Google Drive as your online file cabinet, a place to upload, store, organize, and share all of your content. And since it's web-based, all of that content can be accessed anywhere in the world on virtually any device. Let's take a look at how we can transfer some of our content from our PC into our Google Drive. We'll begin by launching Chrome and signing in to our Google Apps for Education account using our work, email, and password. Once logged in, we can use the shortcut in the top right-hand corner to access our drive. And here's our Google Drive. There's not much content here now, but we're going to change that by uploading files from our computer. Now, there are a variety of ways to do this, but I think the easiest is the method I'm about to show you. Let's make this window a little bit smaller and move it over to the right hand of the screen. And then next to it, I'm going to bring up a file browser on our PC so that I could see the files saved on my computer and the drive on the right hand side. Now, most people have tons of files saved on their computer, whether it's on their desktop, in their downloads folder, or on a shared drive like the iDrive or UDrive. On my iDrive, I have a folder called EarthScience, and in that folder, I have four subfolders. Each of those has further subfolders, and then finally, some content. The nice thing about this process is that I don't need to recreate all of those folders and that organization structure in Google Drive. I can simply grab the entire folder and drag it right into Google Drive. And the whole thing, including all of the subfolders, will upload automatically. Once the upload is complete, let's see what we have. Here's the main folder, the four subfolders, the second layer of subfolders, and then finally the content. So in about two minutes time, I was able to transfer a huge set of folders and documents all into my Google Drive. Pretty easy. Now, let's take a look at this document right here. This is a Word document, and I know it's a Word document because of the W icon right here. I could just store it in my Google Drive as a Word document. But to really use the functionality of Google, I would like to convert this into a different format called Google Docs so that I can edit it online. Doing that is really easy. All I need to do is right click on the file and select Open with Google Docs. You'll notice Chrome has opened a new browser window and it's taking my Word document and converting it into a Docs file. And here it is. Now I'm free to edit change, format, and basically do whatever I want with this content from right within my browser. No need to have Microsoft Word installed. Also, I don't need to save it. Google Docs automatically saves your work right in your Google Drive. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to close this window, and back in the drive, you'll notice I now have two documents in this folder the original Word document, and the newly created Google Docs form of that document. If I want, I can get rid of this original Word document because I no longer need it. Let's say I'm uploading a whole bunch of documents and I want them to convert automatically. I don't want to have to go through that clunky process file by file. Let's go back to the main page of our Google Drive. And I'm actually going to delete all those folders and files that I just uploaded. And we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to change one key setting before uploading those files. To access the Google Drive settings, tap on the cog in the upper right hand corner and select settings. I have an option here to automatically convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. And I'm going to check that off and hit done. What that means is whenever I upload any Word, PowerPoint, or Excel files, they will automatically convert into Docs, Slides, and Sheets format. So I don't have to do that. Let's test this out. I'm going to make my window smaller again and drag that same Earth Science folder back over. We'll give it a second to upload. And then we'll go into the folders to take a look at the files. Notice how my Word document has automatically been converted into a Google Docs file. 
I don't have to go through the process of converting it on my own. And my PowerPoint presentation that I uploaded has automatically been converted to Google Slides. I can tell because it has the Google Slides icon right here. That's a nice time saver. Now let's do a couple more quick things. I also have some files that are saved on my desktop, different file types, and I want to show you how easy it is to upload them. For example, here is a JPEG image or diagram that I can just drag right into my drive. A short video clip that's downloaded from YouTube brought into my drive. Another Word document, a PDF, and an audio podcast file, all saved on my computer and now uploaded into my Google Drive. And here you can see all those files. Now, I don't want to get all disorganized here, so I'm going to take a minute and drag all of these files at once into that Earth Science folder so that I could get them where they need to be. Once they've been moved, I can start to drag them into the correct places. This belongs in Earth's atmosphere, as does this. This belongs in plate tectonics, rocks and minerals, and rocks and minerals. I'm going to go in that rocks and minerals folder, and I notice I don't have any subfolders, so I'm going to create a new subfolder by clicking on New and Folder, and we'll call it Podcasts. And now I can take my podcast and drag it in there. And maybe I want a new folder for labs. And I can take this and drag it in there. So you can see just how easy it is to keep organized in Google Drive. There are a couple other settings I'd like to point out, including how you view your Drive files. Many of us are used to the list view, not this grid view that is by default in Google Drive. We can easily switch to list view by tapping on the list icon in the top right hand corner. Now I have a list of all my folders and my subfolders, and they can be sorted by clicking on the heading. I can also control how widely spaced they are in the settings by selecting comfortable, cozy, or compact. You see how much tighter together they are at this point. One last thing I can do to help me get organized is color code each of my folders. I can do this by right clicking on the folder and selecting change color. This makes my drive much easier to sort through. So in about five minutes, we've been able to upload and organize a whole bunch of files from our computer into our Google Drive. And now I can access them at home, on my phone, and pretty much anywhere.